Okay, now we're gonna measure the RPM of this. Okay, if you've seen my previous video, I uh, converted this alternator into a motor and uh, I'll be making another video and I'll show you how to do that step by step. But in this video, I'm just gonna measure the RPM of this um, alternator that's been turned into the motor. I got this technometer. It's a laser technometer and all it is is just a reflective tape um, right there. And I'm gonna shine a laser light on the tape as it's spinning and it will tell me the RPM. Now the wiring, everything's the same except you see these two wires? These wires go to the armature of the alternator and these are unplugged. There's no power going into the, I guess the armature or the rotor of the alternator. So it's just all being powered by the three outer coils. So if I turn this, There you go, and see it starts to spin. I'm gonna do it full blast. It's really noisy. But it is really, uh, really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for now. Okay, now we're gonna measure the RPM of this. Okay, and uh, in the next video, I will be measuring the torque of this motor so you guys can see how strong it is. So what's interesting right now, I have the, the middle coils completely disconnected. And so, so it has no magnet on the, on the middle, but for some reason it still um, spins whenever I give it power. It's not perfect, but it does work. If uh, I know lots of you guys are way smarter than me, so if anybody has an answer into why this motor is working without having a, either a permanent magnet in the in the middle or the, or the middle part being energized uh, and turned into electro electromagnet. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it.